All right. Solving inequalities using absolute value. This is you know, a little bit different than if it wasn't with the absolute value. Let's take a look at it. Because it is a less than or equal to, we can use the shackled inequality property uh, to solve this, which means that my equation is going to be in between negative 11 and positive 11. So I can rewrite this as negative 11 is less than or equal to 2x minus 5. Oops, shouldn't have that absolute value sign. And that is all less than or equal to 11. Now I can take this and start solving. I'm going to subtract 5, or sorry, I'm going to add 5 to all the parts. So we end up with negative 6 less than or equal to 2x, which is less than or equal to, if I had 5, 16. All right, divide everything by 2. I end up with minus 3 less than or equal to x which is less than or equal to 8. Our final answer will end up being x, where x is an element that's going to be between minus 3 and 8. And there's my answer. Now this one is going to be a little different because it's greater than. If I look at greater than, then I have to write this as 2x plus 4 is greater than 6. Or I have to write 2x plus 4 is less than minus 6, the opposite sign, and I flipped the equality sign, or the inequality sign. So I solve these, each of these separately, and I end up with two different sets of answers. So, solving the one on the left here, 2x is greater than 2, divide both sides by 2, 2x is greater than 1. On the blue side over here, if I add 4 to both sides, sorry, subtract 4 from both sides, 2x is less than minus 10, x is less than minus 5. If I write the two intervals, I've got, in this case, x is bigger than, than 1. Now, I can't exactly equal 1, so I'm going to use a round bracket. So 1 all the way up to infinity. Or, on this side, x is anything less than minus 5. So we go all the way to negative infinity and to minus 5. Once again, it is not equal to, so we put a round bracket. And those are my two answers. There's the first one right there, or that one right there.